all right guys welcome back to the next episode what might actually be the last episode uh it's been a long time since i played this game but i do remember this is pretty close to the end of the story so it might be the last one it might not we'll see but either way thanks for tuning in i appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos and uh let's get this one going I think we have to head back to the temple. That's what we're doing, right? You know, it, it's probably quicker to actually fast travel. Okay. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last. But how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? You know what? I'll tell this one later. <laughs> My bad. I don't even remember, find out what we're doing. Return to, yep. Much quicker. Oh man, the tower ate the unity stuff, didn't it? I wanted to fly again. Yes, that's a terrible pity. Okay, tell me again how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. Well, that was a long one. Betray us to me. You scare up that alchemist what needed finding? Uh, at least when I played this the first time, I had done those side missions, so you got Here much go. more dialogue from Brock well, and Sindri. According to plan. <clears throat> now they just mention the side quest go ahead and every lock time. In and we'll be on our way. Probably. So this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, I haven't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. <laughs> nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! Back on the belt. We must be close. Well, what are we waiting for? Think it's far? We will see. A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Ah, fine, damn it. Fine! Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Yep. Do I have plans for you? <laughs> Do 
Everybody back. Please don't <laughs> flatter yourself. You know what's crazy is if you remember back towards the middle of the story whenever Kratos goes into that light beam when they were in Alfheim, there's a glimpse of this bridge that I never noticed the first playthrough obviously because I hadn't been here yet. But just pointing that out, it's pretty cool. It was like a little foreshadowing. God damn bright in Jotunheim. This spot right here. This is what you see in his vision. Look! We're on the giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. Pretty cool. Hmm. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Kratos went through so much shit. It's a good thing Hello? he never spilt the Anybody ashes. Here? Odin and Thor, ruining everything for everybody. That's a good one too. This place is huge. Who's the guardian? I wish you got to do more here. And then after you leave here, you can never come back either. I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd mom send us here? One question is answered and two more take its place. Wait! Father! Something's happening! It's 
your axe. It's smaller. Look. She's arguing with a bunch of giants. She knew giants? That's us. The first time we met the world serpent. But how? And our fight with Balder. But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. So good. I love this story. I wish this was uncovered still the first time I was like trying to peek back through it. But I got it recorded now, yay. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely go back and look at all these in more detail. It's very cool. Such a good twist. But if she, I, one thing I didn't understand is she was a giant. How did she die? Look, it's mothers. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us, watching over us, leading us home. Let's finish it. I'm trying. There we go. Man, can't believe I'm almost to the end of my first game. It's been fun. And again, I appreciate you guys watching so much. I hope it continues to grow and get bigger and I can do more and more games. I'm sure as time goes on and the more I do, the better I'll get at it also. Look at the statues in the back. It never tells you what happened here. I hope that inf oh, that's a good one. I hope that information is in Ragnarok. As of this recording, we only got a few more months until Ragnarok. So excited. Father. No. We do it together.
together. Son. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. Giants called me... Loki? Loki? That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. <laughs> Last gap slag. What? Why would they wait until the end to give me this? I would have loved to have used that. I'm not doing a new game plus plus. So good. Guess it all makes sense now. Why she want to end up here? You with her kind? But did she know it was gonna be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. One thing I did learn about it was a little while after I'd finished it the first time I even loaded back in. There's like a little, I don't want to say a secret ending, but there's a little mini extra ending. If you actually go back to your house so, and sleep. Why do you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no, he was a soldier, a Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. <laughs> Amir missed it. 
I didn't want to go through there in case it cut the story off. This last episode is basically just a, the end of the story. I don't think there was any combat in it. Unusual for uh, games, but still, this game's so amazing. So there was a good 30 minutes left almost of the story after the final boss fight. I understand if you want to go home, but maybe helping people is part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. I remember the first time I heard that, I was just like, mind blown, so many questions. Lads, am I glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? They just dipped on him, <laughs> dropped him, and left him. Alright, I can finally run again. Back to Midgard. Before we return to Midgard, I should warn you. More time has passed than you want to realize. The snowfall that began when you slew Baldur, it's become something else. The stuff of omens. Omens? We're becoming the Not just any winter. A great winter to span three summers. And when it's done, Ragnarok begins. Ragnarok? From snow? Aye. Snow. Lots more snow. And then the end of the bloody world. In that approximate order. Another prophecy. No, brother. Prophecy doesn't expect this for a hundred more winters at least. You've changed something. Prophecy didn't count on you. I'm telling you, it's Fimble winter. I can feel it in my scrot. This is the big one. Stop saying that. Oh, you're making me very nervous. It was bound to snow sooner or later. That ain't just snow, and you know it. It's the end times. How dare you make me the voice of reason? Guys, just discussing the weather. Bit of a cold snap lately. What he means is, Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winter to end all winters. I can feel it in my screw. E yeah. We, <laughs> we heard. So, if you're heading home, try to keep moving, and also... To not die. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. I'm glad they said that. Home, home, home. Huh. Amir, what else did the serpent tell you when you spoke? Kind of sounded important. I'm sure it's nothing. He just said the boy seemed familiar to him. Me? That's impossible. Oh, I quite agree. Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the Tree of Life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. What? That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. <laughs> That's an interesting one also. I'm sure it's gonna play in Ragnarok. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. It was already snowing here, right? Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. 
sleep. Way ahead of you. Such a good ending. That definitely got me pumped for Ragnarok the first time and this time, honestly, but man. Thor got some fat ass short fingers. <laughs> ah, it's over, guys. Again, thank you so much. I'm gonna let I think there's a little bit more dialogue, maybe. Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimba Winter was ending. And Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. Yeah, there's literally like a so many things I could still do, but... It's all side quests and everything, and fighting the Valkyrie, and again, that's stuff that I'll save for you guys who want to do the playthrough. I don't want to spoil anything for you. So, one last time, thank you guys for tuning in, for watching. I appreciate it. I hope I can continue to do this and grow, so um, I will hopefully have my video out for Weed Shop 3 coming up soon, and then whatever game I decide to play next, we'll have episode 1 of that relatively soon also so thanks guys please like subscribe and take care bye